So to be able to use cruise control, we need to go into the settings here and go to control and scroll all the way down to button customization. And then we need to set the custom one button or you could use the custom two button, but I have the custom one button set to under control to cruise control. What is up guys? This is John Meyer with Flying Filmmaker and we've been looking at how to use the cruise control mode on the DJI Air 3. Let's keep going. And then you can just be flying the drone here, uh, start whatever move you want. Here I am going forward and raising up a little bit and then you'll just hit the custom one button. And there you can see cruise control is enabled. Now I can take my fingers off the sticks and it will just continue to fly exactly the same flight path until I hit that button again, which will cancel cruise control. Now that's the most simple use of it, just flying straight forward, but you can combine other stick controls. For example, here we'll fly forward to the right a little bit and we'll turn to the left a little bit and then we'll hit uh, cruise control. And there we go, it has locked that move in. And then let's say I wanna tilt the gimbal down. Now all I have to do is use the gimbal tilt wheel. Now unfortunately you can't also automate gimbal tilt. It'd be great if you could, but at this point that's not available but it will enable you to get some really cool shots and make it easier so you don't have to be managing all the stick inputs at the same time. And once you have cruise control mode enabled, then you can actually modify that movement with the stick. So let's say here I'm flying forward. Now I can just use my uh, yaw stick to just slightly turn the drone. And then let's say I also want to rise while I'm doing that. I can push up on the altitude and then I can hit the cruise control button again and that will lock in those new changes that I've made. So now I could decide I also want to have the drone flying to the side as well and yawing a little bit more like this, get a nice parallax shot and there we go, lock that in again. Now it is getting that shot all automatically for me. And one really great way to use cruise control mode is to make it easier to get parallax. So for example, here I'm gonna switch into the three times tele lens and then we'll adjust our exposure here and then I'm going to start a parallax move and click it in with cruise control. And there we go, whoops, not quite. There is one problem with cruise control. If you have just a very slight input, for example, on the yaw axis, it won't lock in that turn and it will just go to the side. So you've gotta be going fast enough that you have enough of a turn on the yaw stick that it will actually lock it in. And there we go, this time we got it locked in. And as you can see, now I don't have to um, constantly play with those sticks. It is just automatically uh, doing that move that I put in. This is especially great if you want to get really long moves and let's say speed them up or speed ramp them. You don't have the variable of having little micro jitters on your joysticks. And here you can see we're getting a little bit off so I can just use the yaw stick to just adjust that slightly to keep everything centered up. And another great way to use cruise control is for example, let's say that you wanna get a shot where you're flying up and over and tilting down on top of the subject. You can just um, start that move of flying up and over, hit cruise control, and then you can just use the gimbal wheel um, to tilt down and you only have to manage one input rather than having to do three at a time. Now sometimes it is easier to just do that all manually, but it can make it much easier to pull off when you only have to think about one thing at a time rather than doing multiple stick inputs. And one more place that I can see this being extremely useful is let's say that I want to go running across this little edge of this hill here and I want to have the drone come and fly past me. You can't really do that in active track mode because the drone will just stay behind you. And if you're both running and trying to work the sticks, you often end up with a kind of jerky shot. And so with cruise control, what I can do is I can just get the drone here in position up high enough. I know it won't run into me and then get it started flying forward, lock it in in sport mode and start running. And I don't have to touch any buttons. And so guys, that is how to use the cruise control mode on the Air 3. Now knowing how to fly your drone is great, but unless you know the right settings, you won't be able to get the most cinematic footage out of your drone. So you can click right here to watch a video on the best settings to get cinematic footage out of your Air 3. And if you wanna go even deeper, you can check out my full 10 hour drone filmmaking course where I teach each part of my process of capturing amazing drone shots, editing them together into cinematic videos and color grading the footage to make it look amazing. As always, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel see more videos like this and we'll see you in the next video.